Shalom, Shalom family. I greet you all once again in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the, the author and the finisher of our faith. You know, we thank God being opportunity, the grace again of coming to the altar of Jehovah, of coming to the prayer mountain. It is by His grace, it is by His uh, love that we are opportune this mercy, this chance. You know, our, our confidence in Christ is knowing that whenever we call His name, He hears us. I want you to make it also your confidence in Christ that whenever you ask, whenever you plead, huh? whenever you seek Him, you will find Him. It is our confidence that He hears our prayer, that He answers our prayer. Many a times, people, when they approach the throne of God, many a times when people approach uh, the throne of our master, they are double-minded. They be uh, thinking of, oh, what the, uh, there's nothing, uh, no food to eat home. Uh, I have not yet uh, uh, paid my tuition fee. Uh, I don't have money for this. Uh, I don't have that. Uh, I don't have this. The word of God, uh, leave it all in his hands. Cast all your burdens unto Jesus. He cares for you. His hand is not too short to bless you. So when you approach and when you come in the yard of God, in the yard of Jehovah, believe and know it inside yourself that he hears you. Make it your confidence. Make it your confidence in Christ. You see? So, as we are about to start our session for the day, I want you to know that He hears the prayer. I want you to know that He is an omnipresent God. I want you to know that he's an omnipotent God. He's our father. He's our father. Just like how you treat your son. Just like how a father treats his son. How more is it for our father? When you approach him, when we ask for things, huh? He's a loving God. He's a peaceful God. He's our He's our Jairi. He's our Jairi. He's our comforter. He's our provider. He's everything that we desire. So make it your confidence. Trust him wholeheartedly. Trust him wholeheartedly. Know that he loves you. Know that he cares for you. His hand is not too short to bless you. His ear is always open to hear. Not only you, your begging, but also your worship. Also your worship. Do not be that kind of a child to the father, who is asking things, asking things, asking things. Sometimes you just need to come. Say, Daddy, I love you. He dwells in the midst of his praises. You need to make 98% of your prayer. Make it praise. Worship him. 2% should be you asking for things. Asking for things is for babies. Only babies ask, Daddy, give me this, Daddy, give me this. You know, when, when children ask for things, Father will just say, okay, okay. Daddy, I want a motorbike. Daddy, I want this. Daddy, I want this. 
The father will never say, no, I can't give you that. You just say, all right, I'll bring you. Asking too much is for babies. But he who is confident in Christ dwells, gives more of his time in praising and worshiping God. Not asking, asking is for babies. When you approach the throne of God, we raise his banner. And when his praises go up, we attract his glory. And when we, at, when we attract his glory, ooh, darkness departs. All our petitions and all our needs will be met. You understand? So, too much of asking, Daddy, give me this, Daddy, give me that, Daddy, give me this, Daddy, give me that, Daddy, give me this. It's for babies. A true worshiper. Worship in and out of season. Seek it first, thy kingdom. Seek it first, thy kingdom. Make it your priority to ask for his glory, to ask for his. Thank him for, for his presence. Thank him for the blood he shed. Thank him for who he is. you approach his throne worship him praise his name glorify his name don't just ask things daddy give me this daddy give me that daddy give me this when are you going to worship him when are you going to praise his name seek ye first thy kingdom and all other things that you are begging for all other things that you are making noise for they will follow you They'll follow you. Opportunity, opportunities will, will run for you. Lebron does. So, yes, the confidence in Christ that He hears you, that He hears you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I just want to pray for you. I just want to pray for you. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, help us. Help us make it our confidence. Help us to know that you hear our prayer. Help us to know and to understand who you are. Help us to understand what you can do when we know who you are. When we acknowledge who you are. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you for the person watching me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you fill his heart with your presence, with, with your knowledge. May you for things. And let your glory come down. Let your glory come down. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glorify the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to ask you. I just want to ask you, whatever you're watching us for. I know you've been blessed. I know many have been healed. Many have deceived. There are breakthroughs. But very few are subscribing. I want you to hit on the subscription bell. Hit on that button, subscription button. And hit on that bell. That notification bell. So that whenever we post this special casting, you'll be the first to be notified. And share with family and friends. I always tell people, even your enemies, share with them the same grace. They need to know Christ. They need to know Christ. As, as we, as we, wait, uh, for a moment, we're coming back and then with another with another level may God bless you subscribe like and share in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and perfect in shalom shalom shalom